is brought to you by Buds Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electric. You need Buds. Welcome back to Living 757. This is one of my favorite segments where, that we do where we honor the heroes who are changing the world right here in our backyard. So please join me in welcoming two people from one of my favorite local charities, Ryan and Alex from Aid Another. Hey guys. How are you? I know you guys are busy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sure. Of course, happy to be here. Thank you. Now Ryan, this question is for you because I know that you have a long history with the charity. How was Aid Another born and how has it evolved? Uh, it was born, uh, my wife Christine is the founder of Aid Another and it started because of our son Ethan who is on the spectrum, he's autistic and we realized that there wasn't very many programs for uh, individuals like himself. Uh, ones that he can feel accepted and not feel uh, the pressure that sometimes sports can sometimes have on a kid. So yeah. uh, it started with uh, the Great Neck uh, Baseball League and that was started about nine seasons ago. And uh, it has actually evolved into basketball, has evolved into a lot of different other programs uh, that have been able to use Ethan as our muse to be able yeah. to get him out there and do different programs. And so right. it's, been a, it's been a great opportunity for him to be able to do things, but it's also paved the way for people even like Alex's son mm -hmm. that has been involved with it as well. Okay, now you started as a charity that catered to autism, mm -hmm. but it's not just about autism anymore. No, it's not. No, so it's not. what else do you it's, cater to? It keeps, it keeps on evolving. So as long as my son continues to grow, it will grow. <laughs> uh, if that makes any sense. When you're young, right. it's the smaller things. Now we have a tween dance. So, and then there's also an adult social for the older uh, mm -hmm. uh, individuals that are, are affected by all these different uh, issues mm -hmm. that they might have. So, right. um, it's, it, yeah, it definitely keeps evolving mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there's a lot of different things that we're having. Alex is actually gonna talk about some of the things that mm -hmm. we do also too. Yes, mm -hmm. that was gonna be my next question. You all have such a long list of programs that you provide mm -hmm. for the community. So can you tell me about some of them? Yeah, well, currently the programs that are running, um, we have Adaptive Cheer on Mondays. And then on Thursdays, we have Adaptive Dance, which is at uh, Byla Fusion in Virginia Beach. And then we have, um, as Ryan mentioned, baseball. So our ninth season of the Champions Baseball is on Saturday mornings at Great Neck. So we play at 8.30 every Saturday morning. I love that. And it's so cool because you are providing these opportunities for anyone who is differently abled to lead a normal life. And that's so important. I feel like that's missing in a lot of communities. And due to you all being here, that's not the case here in the 757. No, it's not. It's really yeah, cool. Exactly. Now, you have an inclusive gala coming up. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the gala and what makes it inclusive. Yeah, well, it's definitely inclusive from all areas. So it's our first annual, and we have vendors with disabilities that are providing um, services for us. We have a 360 photo booth that is wheelchair accessible, and we have a lot of volunteers from Aid Another that are gonna be helping and set up and tear down. Some of our bartenders have disabilities. So when we say inclusive, we really mean it. It's gonna be a great evening, and tickets are on sale right now, and we still have sponsorship packages available too. And where can people get tickets? Um, at aidanother.com. Okay, cool. And you also have a big Halloween bash coming up. Everybody's excited about spooky season. So <laughs> quickly tell me about the Halloween bash. Uh, uh, the, uh, I've done, I did one last year. It was an adult kind of get together social. And uh, it's just, I will say this, they can't be more happy to be at these things. It's a good way for them to be socially active. A lot of times people forget that when kids get out of school, they don't really have that interaction right. with other people mm -hmm. as easily as it yep. is when you get a little older. So mm -hmm. to have these functions and have these get togethers for them and just to say, hey, listen, this is a safe spot for you to come. You know, you're around people very like-minded and it's a yeah. good way for us to introduce the community to them, not mm -hmm. just the other way yeah. around. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like to say, listen, this is what we do. We are our own community and we're always looking for others to join the community. So if there's people out there that want to get involved and want to be a part of Aid Another, please reach mm -hmm. out, go to the website, go to our social media, contact one mm -hmm. of us and we'd love to have you a part of it because we know that there's people out there that know people that might want to be involved. So yeah. please get out there and like reach out to us. For sure, I feel like receiving any type of diagnosis can, can really affect you and it can be really isolating. Sure. 
So aid and other being here in the community and providing all the events and programs that you do, that's what makes you guys hometown heroes. Well, thank you. So that. thank you so much for everything you do and thank you for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you.